Hey gang, welcome back to the channel. I got a big smile on my face and that's because I have been playing Destroy exclusively for about the last week since the last OTA patch. And I'm not gonna lie, I've been crushing it inside of Conquest mode. Got my first Infinity ticket with this list here. Got a ton of golden tickets. It's just been performing really well. Now you may be looking at this list and getting ready to click on the video and be like, you're insane, Perry. There's not even death inside of your Destroy deck. Well, let me, wait, let me explain. There's this little card that every other deck in the game is playing right now named Mobius, and you're not getting a whole lot of value out of death. A lot of times it will just sit in your hand most games, and that's why it is not making the cut for this list. I am running Arnim Zola instead. I think I would prefer Arnim Zola anyways. It just allows you to put a ton of power out on the final turn if you're splitting something like a Venom or your Null. It allows you to get into lanes that are shut off at the time. I just really like it. And uh, yeah, so this list here... There's not a whole lot of other decks that can point out point slam you. Maybe Big Shuri, and they do have a little bit of an edge because they are running armor. But if you forge into Deadpool, Hulkbuster into your Deadpool, then destroy us on turns four and five, you're looking at a 32 power Deadpool to play on the final turn. And of course, the Nuts is definitely playing that Deadpool alongside a Taskmaster on the final turn into separate lanes. It's really just hard to compete with. Now, your enemies right now are Armor and Shadow King, which are pretty prevalent. And that's the thing about Destroy. It's never going to take over the meta because when it does become one of the strongest things, it is easily counterable. It almost feels like every time a good tech card comes out, it really hurts discard. Looking at you, Spider-Ham, and your Prime. But we do get these little windows where it becomes strong as things start to shift, and that's what's going on right now. So I'm enjoying my time in the spotlight with Destroy. Uh, there is another really popular deck right now, which is the Phoenix Force version of Destroy. I've played against quite a handful of them, and I have beaten them every time with this list. I feel like we're the ones at advantage because we do put out a ton of power, and they are continuing to destroy stuff, which makes our null huge. And we do have a Killmonger if they try to Phoenix Force that uh, Human Torch on the end of the you know the last turn of the game so we have ways of dealing with them but we're gonna quit talking about it we're gonna jump into some game footage if you like destroy i highly recommend this list give it a shot now you do have to be very very aggressive with your snaps you got to make people pay and what do i mean by being aggressive if i have deadpool in my hand on the starting hand and i have a way to either buff or destroy it in the next two turns i snap it's pretty aggressive sometimes it goes it goes south but you got to make people pay when you got Deadpool. He just puts a ton of power and he's hard to deal with. All right, let's jump into the game footage. Now, before we do jump into the games, I do want to say in the games that you see here, you're literally going to see everything go right. You're going to get to see the optimal play. And I also get to explain how I split my cards up because I do face a deck that's running armor. Uh, but with all that being said, if you do not draw well for some reason, yeah, this deck can be kind of frustrating. And that's why I do make the point to say you've got to be pretty aggressive with your snaps, meaning Deadpool in hand, able to buff them and destroy them, that sort of thing. Uh, you're really going to get to see the power of this deck showcased in these game highlights. So I hope y'all enjoy them. As always, gang, y'all be good. Y'all be safe. I'll catch y'all next video. And if you're not currently subscribed, we just passed 700 subs, which blows my mind i am totally not worthy of that uh but i am truly grateful but if you're not subscribed you like my content enjoy the personality all those things click that subscribe button for me i would greatly appreciate it and i'll catch y'all in the next episode all right can we get deadpool oh yeah so this is what i mean you just, you gotta be aggressive. You gotta make people pay. What's he playing? Not Thanos. We'll take it. I mean, if you're not gonna snap when you have all the things to do what the deck is designed to do, when are you gonna snap? Really hoping he doesn't armor this light. So we have Arnim Zola in hand, which is great. It's great for us. And see, Mobius, again, that's why we're not running death here. Oh. Oh. Lord have mercy. Somebody stop me. Somebody stop me. 
What's he gonna do? He's gonna drop freaking uh Cyclops in here. We're dropping the chicken. I know what you're thinking, but we're dropping the chicken because we're going to drop Venom next. We'll have priority and we can Arnim Zola because uh, I don't want to take a chance on an Arnim Zola hitting Forge. So this is good. This is going to be a quick game. It's because he's planning on... Um, He's probably going to Gamora into uh, Eliath, and it won't matter. Yeah. Uh oh, are we not going to have priority? Dang it. We don't have priority. Oh, he didn't alive us. So he pays. We got lucky. We're lucky he didn't have a life. This is also why I love having the Arnim Zola overrunning death. Just allows you to do things like this. Had this been alive though, we would have we would have ate it because we didn't have priority. Yeah, I told you that was gonna be quick. <laughs> it's gonna be quick. There's that 32 Deadpool. We didn't even get to play him. Didn't even get to play him. I really wanted to get this variant. Again, like I said, you got to be aggressive. Got to be aggressive. We've got Shuri's lab into Deadpool opener. Got to snap. Got to snap. But uh, I just don't play rescue, so I, I couldn't justify it. Now, Venom into here. This is going to be great. Oof, it just keeps getting better and better here. Just keeps getting better and better here. All right, perfect. It, it, that's fine. This is like, doesn't even matter. Oh, that kind of sucks. Kind of sucks. We may Arnim Zola the monster on the final turn. Or we can actually do it a turn early because we're going to be able to bust X-23 here. We don't have to worry about Eliath. Okay, so... Man, Sokovia hitting... Really sucks. Uh, I mean, but it is what it is. We'll go ahead and get the buff onto Killmonger. Dang. The, the Venom is... Uh, that's a major, major thing. And also looks like we are not going to be Arnim Zoloing the, uh... This probably is not worth it. Now, I know what y'all are thinking. I know what y'all are thinking. Just, just, just trust me. Trust me. Wakanda forever. Trust me, guys.
I wonder if I can get him to snap here. I'm kind of afraid he's going to play um, leader for some reason. I don't know what he's playing. The deck's got a little weird. I like it. I like it. I am not sure what was going on there. <laughs> okay, I, I don't I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure I'm going to get hit with some wombo combo, but uh, there again, just the power that you're able to put out here. X23 is is pretty sweet too. Just allowing you to either get that Arnim Zola or null out early or a null into an Arnim Zola. I just, I love this deck. Now, like I said, we do have to be careful because they are running armor. So I am going to split. I'm going to split my Deadpool and X23 here. I don't, if I had Carnage, I would be playing it this turn. I've got priority and get the explosion, but he may have the, the armor to play here on this turn. What is this sad music? We gotta, yeah. So this is what I was talking about in the intro where I split up my destruction a little bit. Ooh. We are doing this because the odds of this or this moving, pretty good. Pretty good, I think. And he plays here. Come on, we got a one in three chance. Yeah! <laughs> got him! Next turn, we will Deathlock and Venom. Now, the Great Web may screw us on the last play of the game, but hey, that's it's all fun. Or it may work in our favor. You never know. You never know. Okay. Oh, he's in trouble, man. Can I do all these things right now? Yes, I freaking can. Holy moly. I would love to have hit X23. You know, I screwed up. I should have played Forge, Deadpool, and Venom here. I would have had one extra point. And I could have played Deadpool and Arnim Zola. But, you know, I already clicked the button. I'm really bad about already clicking the button. It's one of the worst parts of this game, especially when someone snaps you after the fact. And you can't, you know, the only thing you can do at that point is retreat. You can't undo your turn. But hey. And I'm just hoping they don't have a Shadow King. <laughs> I'm really hoping they don't have a Shadow King. All right, so here comes the Black Panther. One of these cards has got to be going over here, I would think. Okay. I guess this is what we're doing here. I'm going to assume they don't have Shadow King in whatever list this is. Are we are we getting a rage quit? Okay. I was like, man, it's taking a little while. Oh, we might have got a rage quit. I think we did. <laughs> mhm. Mm yeah, I'm going to I'm going to assume uh Yeah. Okay. I think just about like, I think I'm pretty sure like eight of these golden tickets are this deck here. <laughs> if you draw well, the deck is incredible. 